So the first set to Serena Williams and Max Mirny, six games to two. Tracy, is it surprising to you that Serena Williams and Venus Williams, and Martina Hingis, players that are so young, are, are this accomplished in doubles? No, because uh, their returns are so key. You know, their returns are so good. There's Venus looking on. They're volleying well. They're coming up as complete players, and I think they realize that playing doubles is going to make them even better. All such great athletes as well. Throw that in the mix, and that helps. Love 15. It is a big difference. We talked with uh, John about this last night. Big difference between the women and the men. Most of the top women play doubles. Exactly. Fewer and fewer of the top men play doubles. Yeah, Patrick Rafter, Jonas Bjorkman, yeah. they play, but you're right, very few do. 15 all. I said this morning that Stefan Edberg is the last doubles player that I can remember on the men's side that was ranked number one in the world mm -hmm. in both. Well, only been two. McEnroe, mm -hmm. Edberg on the men's side, been more on the women's. Out. Out. 30 Sanchez Vicario, Hingis is now. Davenport has been ranked number one in the world in doubles. 40, Not yet in singles, but she has a chance and opportunity this weekend. Hingis, Novotna, and Davenport are all going for it. If Hingis just reaches the finals, she stays number one. But if Davenport and Novotna get to the finals, they'll be going for that number one mm -hmm. ranking. They're two great women's semis tomorrow. Really, what's great to me about the semis is that I think any of all four of them could win. I think Hingis is hungry again, looked terrific in her quarterfinals against Sellis. Davenport's played well all summer. I think Novotna is more relaxed now that she has a Grand Slam title under her belt. And Venus was certainly very impressive last night after the first set. Williams 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 Williams. 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 Willi
late call there because the lines person was unsighted. When they're unsighted, the umpire has to take over and make the call, but it was clearly wide. Let her serve. Max Mirny, the only player on the court who has not had his serve broken in the match. Serena got hers broken in the third game of the first set. Oh. 15 all. I really think that return air was caused by Max moving so much earlier in the match. Poaching, doing a couple of fakes. Makes the returner start to think about not only hitting the ball, but where they're hitting the ball. Person up at the net there is really supposed to help the server out a lot. Take some pressure off of them. Oh! Just oh. got a good move by Murney. A great move. Are. The right, the right thing to do. Being aggressive. Good hands here, and then you'll, you'll see that he thinks Lisa Raymond's going to hit it up. So just before she strikes the ball, he starts to move to the left side of the court. Missed it by half an inch. figure out why Serena Williams is serving and staying back. Volley's very well, but maybe she feels like her first volley is not good today. Game, Williams Mirny. So hold in Serena Williams, Max Murney at 2 1 in the second. Williams Mirny. Updating Fox Sports News, swim champion Kieran Perkins will carry the flag at tonight's Commonwealth Games opening ceremony in Kuala Lumpur. Australia is expected to top the medal tally over the fortnight of competition. Melbourne star Gary Lyon remains in doubt for tomorrow's sudden death clash with St Kilda at the MCG. The Swans are confident of downing Premier's Adelaide in the other clash in Sydney. And a day after Rupert Murdoch's takeover of Manchester United comes news that another media group Carlton Communications is negotiating with league champions Arsenal. Fox Sports News with Cameron Williams. Tonight at 6.30, Fox Sports. Back at the National Tennis Centre, the Mixed Doubles Championship. Max Murney and Serena Williams, they won the Wimbledon Championship and they're up a set on serve here in the second. Defending champions in this event, Manon Bolograff and Rick Leach. They were beaten in the first round by Lindsay Davenport and Jan Michael Gamble. 30. So I guess you can say that Lindsay's injury uh, prevented what could have been a real interesting second round match. Definitely. Davenport, Gamble, and Serena and Murney. I think Lindsay's just feeling that arm too much to compete in all three events. It's been a pretty ambitious endeavor for a top player anyways without a sore arm. Rancho Sanchez Vaccaro used to do that all the time, but uh, she could play tennis for three days in a row if she needed to. But I think two events is, is enough. Lisa Raymond facing a break point here. She has not held her serve in the match today. Serena catches this return nice and early, got jammed, but hits it out in front, creates a good angle. Well, when you hit your 
serves getting hammered as Lisa Raymond has been. That's when you want your partner to help. Galbraith did. Definitely. They need to start crossing a bit. Try something different. Maybe try the Australian formation. That would be where Galbraith stands more in the middle of the court, and then Serena would have to guess which way he's going. If you continue to lose your serve, it's just like in singles. Whatever is not working, try something new. That's what they, the Raymond Galbraith team's got to think about that. That's right. This serve just didn't have enough no. sting on it. Just plenty of time for Serena Williams to set up and really hit it any way she wanted to. Space is a second break point. And that was just too easy. Okay, Williams Serena here. Williams and Max Murney now have a break in the second Williams set. Williams and Murney lead three games to one. Let's go to Michael Barkan. All right, Teddy, with Venus Williams and uh, watching Max and Serena here, what is the key to good mixed doubles? Well, the team really has to stay together, and especially, you know, in mixed doubles, you don't always know the person that well. Um, especially Serena and I, we play doubles, so we know each other very well, but they're really playing great. How did Serena and Max hook up? Um, Serena didn't have a partner in Wimbledon, so she found Max and found each other, and they, they're winning. They sure are. They're looking great. And you are partnered with Justin Gimelstab, and you have certain requirements about a mixed doubles partner, correct? He had to be taller than you, right? Yes, he has to be taller than me, and he has to have a bigger serve. <laughs> Just tough to do. <laughs> yeah, it's tough sometimes to get along with him. But but um, how how important is that the, the, the height issue? Because you said you know you want you want your partner taller. Well, yes, of course. If they're not taller, it's going to be kind of tough for them to have a bigger serve than me. And I don't want to be the man on the court. I want them to be stronger, you know, adding more to the game than what I do. You got a big match coming up tomorrow. Lindsay Davenport, the number two seed for an All-American semifinal, which, uh, as you had sa have said, makes you happy. Well, how do you size this one up? Because she's been tough to beat for you. Oh, yeah, I think it's going to be a different game because it's a little bit windy, especially if it stays windy tomorrow. So we both have to adjust our game a little bit, add more top spin, but the best player will win. How? Just adjusting the top spin is the main, uh, the main fix for you. Yeah, it's also you have to play a little bit differently. You might want to go for a higher first serve percentage, and just play your shots a little differently according to which way the wind's going. After the Mary Pierce match, you did a little dance on the approach to the net. You didn't do that last night with Arancha. Did you think better of it? No, I just didn't feel like doing it. But if I felt it was necessary, then I would. What, what's different about your experience this year? Uh, uh, what? Ooh, what's what's changed 30, uh, uh, from last year? Are you enjoying yourself more this year at the Open? Yeah, so time still is passing by slow. I think it passes by slower in New York, but it's almost over and I'm almost to the final, but I'm in the semis first. Venus, good luck. Thanks a lot. Ted. That's a great point. Michael brought up all American semifinal. With the. Uh, Pete Sampras being the lone American holding down the fort on the men's side. 40-15. Max Mirny having no trouble at all on his serve. He's only lost four serve, four service points the entire match. He's mixing it up well with power and the kick serve, slicing it at the body. It's kind of funny, a couple of points ago, three lobs went up in a row. The first one Max took, the next one went up, and Max said mine, and Serena took it. The next one went up, and Max said mine again. He took it, and he missed it. <laughs> Serena's like, okay, let me get the next one. Game. So the game for Serena Williams, Max Murney, and they are closing in on the Mixed Doubles Championship. Williams here nearly four games to one. Where can you watch the best baseball players in the world? Fox Sports is the place to be for Major League Baseball. This season, we will bring you live coverage of over 30 games, including the playoffs and the World Series live. Experience America's favorite pastime. Catch Major League Baseball exclusively live. San Francisco Battle, Colorado, Sunday morning at 6, Fox Sports 2. 
Back at the Mixed Doubles Championship where time starting to run out for Lisa Raymond and Patrick Galbraith, the champions in this event two years ago. In fact, Galbraith has won two Mixed Doubles titles at the U.S. Open. Questioning that call on his serve. Thirty love. Under the category of what a great country. <laughs> Winner share one hundred twenty thousand. Finalist sixty. Ted Patrick Galbraith has made two point three million dollars in his career, mostly as a doubles player. It's impressive. That's a beautiful half volley lob from Galbraith. Because remember, Max Mirny is six foot four. Not easy to get over. Good touch right here. Gets that racket head down below the ball. Just holds it firm, lifts it up. Game, a game that they had to win. Raymond and Galbraith do. Williams and Ernie lead four games to two. And now they will try to pick on Serena Williams here and see if they can break what has been a very good serve. So it's been a Williams year in so many ways in women's tennis, but in mixed doubles at the slams. Somehow, Ted, I just have a feeling we're going to see a lot more Williams's name mm -hmm. names on the doubles trophies and grand slams. Serena does. She plays with a smile on her face an awful lot. Excellent get here from Serena and Pat does a good mm -hmm. job. Hits it back at Serena. Can't get her racket out there in time. It's okay to go with the woman in this game. We're talking about the finals of the U.S. Open. You do what you need to do. And the women understand that. Galbraith really having a lot of trouble returning that Venus Williams serve. There's the last five years of mixed doubles champs. Galbraith in there yeah, twice. That's the only name. Elna Reinach, South African, who's now retired from the circuit. Look how far over Max is. Lisa's got to be feeling the pressure. Where can I hit this return? 30 all. Oh, double fault. Second by Serena Williams. It's good to see Max goes back and gives her a bit of encouragement. It's important to have that partner that doesn't get down on you, is always pumping you up, staying positive. And there again, of all the, the four players on the court, it's Serena Williams serves. 40, 30. When you need the point. She rips one. She does, but Max has held a serve easily yes. today. Only lost a total of four or five points. right there hit it down the line I think she should have done this early in the match to make him let him know that she's not afraid to go right at him make him stay on that side of the court
Once that ball goes short for either one of these players, you might as well kiss it goodbye. Mm -hmm. Serena Williams has an excellent overhead, great racket head speed and power. Serena Williams and Max Mirny are now one game for the Mixed Doubles Championship. This weekend on Fox Sports, golf, the ladies' tour of the U.S. continues with rounds two and three of the Safeco Classic from Washington. Live, Premier League, the English football just keeps on coming. West Ham host frontrunners Liverpool and Tottenham take on Middlesbrough. Both games live. The U.S. Open reaches boiling point with the doubles and ladies finals and the men's semi. The weekend always rocks on Fox. Now Lisa Raymond, who has been broken all three times she served in this match, needs to hold to keep her team in this championship. You. Oh. Well, Serena Williams and Max Murney have just been too good. Love 15. And as Tracy's been pointing out, outstanding communication. It looked like they played together a long time. Love 30. And now two points away. And now Patrick Galbraith doing what Tracy had suggested earlier, right in the middle, trying to help Lisa Raymond on her serve. Ah! And Galbraith adding vocal emphasis. <laughs> So Raymond trying to go wide both times. And now double championship point for Serena Williams and Max Murney. Slam title and mixed doubles for a team that's only played together twice. They're perfect. And for the Williams sisters, their amazing arrival on the tennis scene continues. The older sister Venus having another marvelous run in singles, and now Serena Williams, who played very well in her first singles at the U.S. Open. In her first U.S. Open, has a, a championship under her belt, teaming with Max Mirny in mixed doubles. This weekend, Fox Sports exclusive coverage of live English football continues with another two crucial games from the Premiership. Saturday night, West Ham take on Liverpool. Upton Park's the venue when the Reds come calling. Sunday night, a troubled Spurs side tries to put their backroom worries behind them as they take on newly promoted Borough. Live and exclusive, West Ham take on Liverpool. Midnight Saturday, Fox Sports. I get knocked down, but I get up again. The NRL final series continue with the semi-finals from Sydney Football Stadium. First up, Saturday night, the Newcastle Knights take on the Canterbury Bulldogs. Then, on Sunday night, the Brisbane Broncos clash with the Melbourne Storm. Sudden death time with the NRL semi-finals. The final series, week three, starts Saturday night with Newcastle versus Canterbury, Fox Sports 2. U.S. college football. They dedicate their young lives to a common dream.
They strive to outshine one another. At this level, the game is personal. They are driven by passion and pressure to stay on top, to become the chosen one. Kansas State lock horns with Northern Illinois. Live and exclusive, U.S. College Football, Sunday morning at 2.30, Fox Sports. Where can you watch the best baseball players in the world? Fox Sports is the place to be for Major League Baseball. This season, we will bring you live coverage of over 30 games, including the playoffs and the World Series, live. Experience America's favorite pastime. Catch Major League Baseball exclusively live. San Francisco Battle, Colorado, Sunday morning at 6, Fox Sports 2. You're out! Tough to play against, and unfortunately for Tim Henman, he came up against a guy that had that confidence today, and uh, Henman just couldn't quite find enough to, uh, to counteract what, uh, what Philip Lucas was throwing at him. All right, now let's get our minds and the camera down on the center court where the announcer is introducing the defending champion and number one seed, number one player in Two the minutes. women's game, Martina Hingis, and a player for whom there is immediate...